You know what? I would say he was trying to remix and it all he started F and ended Chucky. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to say that to me. I'm going to say that to me. I'm going to say that to me. And you tell him to watch the kid's expression. She was like Chucky if Chucky appeared. She really did. And she Who are we talking about? Him. No, no, there's a clip. There's a clip that um, Travis he shared on Facebook, and this little kid, yeah. and she she must have hurt her head. So her mum's asking her who hurt her head, and she said Chucky did it. But Chucky. it's the way she says it. Yeah, it's the way she says it. We'll send this clip after. So she swears, and she's Scottish as well. And she looks oh, about. I thought she was Irish. Something. Oh, she's one of them, and <laughs> she's about two. Or three. She's about two like, or three. No more. <laughs> you'll have to say, I'll send you a clip, then you can heal. She was not find it funny. <laughs> it's wrong, but it's funny. I oh, think yeah. the mum was shocked with the response from the child. That's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can all keep smiling in the the um event that was another lockdown. Yeah. No, it's a lockdown. We're at the coop. You yeah. <laughs> got me. It's, true. it's a lockdown and a coop at the same time. A coop lockdown. Yeah. And you know what? Lockdown, lockdown never, never stopped. Did. It well, didn't. Did it. No, <laughs> that's true. No, we did have an ease up. We did have a probation. What ease up? When, when we were allowed to go to the restaurant when you were Christmas shopping. The thing is, the restaurants are still open. You just take away. Nine times out of ten, they were still forcing people to take away when apparently there was this ease of no, mm. that's just your face is tough. And it says, No, we don't want you there. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I, you know what I think it would be easier is if, if this Johnson guy would just say, Look, we're closing down for four months, get used to it. That would be easier than saying, yeah, maybe we'll save Christmas or maybe we're just going to do it for two weeks or maybe just three yeah. weeks. It's a lie. Oh, yeah, maybe, like... maybe, maybe, Australia, we should just say, you know what, live your lives, just be precautious and that's it. Just live your lives. He could yeah. just say that too. That's true, yeah. yeah. Well, how did he do I, with that? I how think, did... you know what, to be fair, somebody said something very um, good today on the news. It says, why don't all the vulnerable people just stay in their house and yeah. else gets on with their lives. Yeah. The end. You know what I mean? Because obviously that, we're not vulnerable. Yeah. We can carry on and doing what we're doing. And the vulnerable went... people are all protected. So they're cool. Yeah, I went further because I was having a discussion with um, a, a lady who was, um, she was Muslim. And we both agreed that how dare someone who's a human being just like us dictate to us how we should live our lives when yeah. you really look at the core of it how dare another human being tell us how to look live our lives using the scaremongering tactics to do it because oh, what he's done yeah. what he's actually done by doing that is create this is our war start because you've only got to look on facebook if someone puts up something about the vaccine or about COVID itself. Just look at the comments. How many people are willing to kill you if you don't agree with them? Yeah. Or they Ooh, say that you're a murderer. It's, it, it's, that's all it's done. It's caused a lot of hatred. I it's don't not understand how people it's, it's causing but, hatred. But you know yeah. what? Obviously, everybody's got their new occupations now since this COVID's come out. Everybody's suddenly doctors. And, yeah, um, yes, what the juries yes. and the judges and everything. Yeah. And you think to yourself, how can you call me a murderer when I've never got this virus once? Exactly. Before? You have yeah, covered all bases by saying you have covered all bases by saying you don't know if you got it. You could have it, and yeah, that's true. The covered all bases though. You'll be caught. Yeah. You'll be caught. But that's, a lie. that's a lie. There's no yeah. way you can have such a. Think about it. This is a pandemic. There's no way you can have such a deadly uh, virus and not display any symptoms and not have no form of suffering. There's just yeah. no way. Every time actually, you know what? I know a girl. Actually, I know a girl. I don't know if I should talk to you now. I know somebody, a friend of a friend. Let's call it a friend of a friend. Yeah. She told me that she met somebody who's positive tested, but she still goes to work. She should be in isolation. Oh, that's, oh, that's what wow. You know what? Dr. You know what? said the same thing on this morning. He said that nobody's quarantining. 
They're not doing what they're supposed to do. And that's why the, the case is arising so quick. Because Load of rubbish. just like back in March, control. When, no. not March 2020, <laughs> when he says, oh, you only have to do it for a week, and then it turned into months. Yeah, Why yeah. should we believe this time? It's it's weeks. It's not weeks. Because we know it's still mid February. More than that. More than that. Yeah, yeah, more than that. Easter. I know it's going to go until the leave Easter. Easter. Listen, Boris is so clever, and, and the people all over the world, all the leaders in the world, are so clever. All they're doing is putting it to the test to see how long, how much they can we'll push it. Yeah. Being, how long we can control them the way we want to control them. And it is true. The more we abide by what they're doing is the more restrictions they're going to be put on. And before you know it, we've just walked into slavery without even being coerced yeah, because we just accepted all the rubbish and we've gone right into slavery, not even realising that's what we've done. It's the way she said it. Yo. Hello? Is that like an angel flying over or something? Must be. Go on. <laughs> you, you know when you know when everyone goes quiet at the same time, it's like an angel flies over. That's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what? Right well, so what about this? Did you guys catch the the news in America about the the? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a new okay, first of all, start no, from that... the beginning because I don't know because I don't know. know news, and I'm seeing all these posts on Twitter, Twitter so, and so, all but, that, and I don't know. So basically, you know, I... you know the orange guy, uh, the president yeah. of America. He's um, he's basically told all these, told all these people, look, they're trying to take the government, they're trying to steal the election. You know, come and come and basically come and come out and help. Basically, so all these mm-hmm. rednecks, so to speak, came out and started that's going into the cocktail. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what you did see, yeah. These rednecks, you know, if it was black people, we'd have heard of mass murder and yes, riots yeah. and corruption. We know it was well again today on this morning. They were talking to somebody, I'm not going to name them those because we're not here to obviously endorse or advertise. But they four presenters, no, three presenters was on. No, two presenters on and two were guests. Now, one of the, there was all obviously British nationality, and the two presenters um, pinpointed the fact that it would have been a different case, just like when it was the Black Lives Matter march, that they would have been treated differently. You wouldn't have been able to go and sit in the Congress chair, taking selfies. The police actually opened up the barriers and let them come through. You never yeah. saw no, no. No, no harsh gas. treatment or anything like that. But at the Black Lives Matter marches, it was people terrible. Run over. And, yeah, people yeah. Run over. And then one of the people tried to justify that it wasn't the same and that it, it wasn't as bad as it seemed. And everybody, you should have saw everybody's face in the shock. As it it was you bad. trying to I'm say that he's incited this They've gone and done this. They've disrespected the new president and what's going on. And you don't think it's bad how they've gone on. And it wasn't a peaceful protest. But because they were white, they were treated totally different. You, there was a woman in 2006 who went up the hill and she was black and she was shot six times in the yeah. head before she even got to it. So how have them not been allowed to get Actually, let them in to it. They let them in. The yeah. Sorry, I'm lost let here. It's um, um, where where did they get into? The Capitol Hill. Hill. It's like the second most they... important building. Yeah. To, um, oh, okay. Sort of let like okay. the p- p- presidential proceedings like say that. Well, wow, this is going to be the new president, and that's the old one. He's gone. Is it like our parliament? Back. It's like our parliament. Sort basically. of, yeah, like parliament. We we going to ride into parliament and going to sit in the big chair and start banging the. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you could see it was it was totally uncontrolled. It seemed, I wouldn't say staged, more lenient. Yeah, very that's lenient. The law enforcement were very lenient, yeah. and that's and that's what the presenter said. This was a blatant showing um, of white supremacy, thing of white privilege. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and that's it. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. "Oh, there you go." Then, because everybody was thinking it, but I didn't expect the people on the this morning to actually come up and say what I was say, thinking. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you saw what happened last year. Obviously, yeah. that was the start. So now we're we're seeing the exposure of um, white privilege. We're seeing yeah. it like, and it's being brought up even by white people now. So I thank you, mm-hmm. white people, who are yeah. like obviously uh, acknowledging that you guys have a 
a level of power that we don't possess mm. and that you recognize this you know that's great you know i'm looking at now i'm actually looking at a video of the Jap- a japanese people are doing a march in tokyo the pro trump march and that's weird because the white guy pretty much titles it once again the asians demonstrated solidarity with white supremacy so much for your minority coalition and that's something that it's, it's pretty true actually asian people always i mean i guess they identify with white and it because mm. they, they, they but they're not they're not but, but they identify they, they think they mm. are oh, they, they want to be yeah. but they want to be they want to be yeah. And, no, uh, they they have a right to because they are treated on the same level, just like with um with the the, the Asians, meaning like the, the the Indians. They are they think they're white. A lot of them do because they are treated as such. They do get treated. I mean, they would get into Parliament a lot quicker than we would. They get into all the top things a lot quicker than That's we would. That's true. I agree. Even their like get, fashion. I can remember. Trendy. I can remember going back into the eighties and with the job fit front. If you were white, you stood a chance. If you were Asian, they'd rather give you the job over a black because they said that the the Asian will, are the workers. Uh, you know, so they, they've it's got such privileges over us that they actually do relate to the Caucasian. You can't blame them because if they're getting treated just as good, I'm not talking about the Muslim ones because obviously that's a different um, thing altogether. I'm talking about the, the westernised Asians, I should say, and that's a broad band. They you know do what, a lot better. You know what though? They you gotta give them respect though, man. They work hard and they and they do keep themselves <laughs> low-key. They keep yeah, themselves low-key, man. If they do they do the right, they take the right approach yeah. to everything. They do a silent takeover, man, which yeah, you gotta yeah. give them respect yeah. for that. If we was like that, if we was more humble and relaxed and laid back, black mm-hmm. people would also have that privilege, but because we're so loud and abrasive and we're just not liked anyway. We, that, which that which I agree. Yeah. To, I agree totally because I, I, I mean, me and um, Alcelio have clashed over this, but I'm not going to pretend. I <laughs> look back in my version of the history, you know, just to say my version of the history, and I look at, and you know, black people as a race, and I sit back and I say, they're quick. Listen to what we do as black people, and you know, to say we, uh, we're quick to say, oh, we were the first people on this earth. Oh, we were the kings and the queens of the past. And then I look deeper and I say, well, what did you do so bad that you ended up as the bottom of the bunch then? Because if you're so quick to claim that you were the first people on there, that means you created the chaos that we're living in and you left a bad legacy for us, which has carried on for centuries and centuries. And what I don't like, and I am going to stand up and say it is, I hate us keep on playing the bloody victims. We need to now unite and stand up and be su- survivors and be proactive and stop claiming, oh, we were hard done by. Because the way I see it is, black people, at any race, we were the same back then as we are today. So whatever we're doing today, we were doing back then. Don't pretend that we were good from the beginning, we turned bad. We were bad back then. Just like we have good people, we were bad back then and we had to pay a price for it. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. That's my industry. Well, to me. So, now, oh, sorry, just add into that travesty. The only reason <laughs> I said that because the only reason I, I thought I should say that is because we always only ever hear, oh, black people are hard done by and we were slaves. And this, but we have to look at both sides. There's two sides to every story. I'm sorry. You know what? I, I think the only reason black people are brought up because. Other than the Jews, we were the most recent. That's why it's still prevalent. But yeah. every nation has been enslaved through time. Since yeah. the world began. I so, agree, but, but like, we don't want love to play victim on it and, and use it as an excuse for our bad behaviour, which like we need I to said, stop it now. It's because our, our injustice was more, most recent. Just like the Aborigines and the Arawak Indians. They were all in different times but our slavery was the most recent so that's that means, why we can still probably because it's still been in the, probably in the last hundred years still so yeah, yeah, yeah that's recent. true it's quite so recent who, who was slaves like before the, back then who was slaves before I think everyone's been slaves the English the Britons by the Jew the um, oh. the um, not the Jews not the Jews sorry it was the British by the um, the Romans 
They owned yeah. London and everything. Who do you think put the streets in? I want to know about it. It was the in the Anglo British. They, the and okay. then before them, it was the Anglo Saxons, Saxons, and Which then before that, the Vikings, and everything. Yeah. It's just different people having their turn to rule exactly. different places. Exactly. And one day again, it will be our turn. And again. hopefully, you learn from the right. history and yeah, you make right, sure it doesn't repeat. Yeah. Well, I would say you know I mean? if black people ever get a, ever get a chance again to run things, let's they do it will. nice. Let's do it nice. Let's yeah. have free peace on earth. Let everyone have you know. I know people don't like socialism, socialism or utopia, but let's let's try it one time. Let's have utopia where everybody has no one wants for anything. Everyone can go where they want. Anyone can live where they want. Freedom of mu- movement, the best case scenario for everybody. You know, whatever you want, you have it. Infinite learning. Yeah, let's do that world. How do you think that that world sounds good to me? I don't know. It, does, it sounds it sounds very good, but I think, I think <laughs> the world has to go around. And I think haven't the Asians got to check over first and do their run first? So it's we we won't be next. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be next because we, 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 we were the first. We, apparently, China. we probably will join yeah. the next. Yeah, yeah probably will. That's all about their time. Yeah. Right. So everybody will have their time. Yeah, I think we'll do. You know, and wait there, wait there, wait a second. Sorry. Was, wasn't Genghis Khan from China? <laughs> I don't know about this man. I don't know who oh. China. I don't know, man. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping to be honest, if that if that does happen, I hope I'm not on this earth to see it because it will not be nice for us at all. Because we're gonna have to suffer again. <laughs> so we we're not around. <laughs> you know, um, listen, bringing ourselves to something a bit more different. Yeah, our topic, what's our topic? Yeah, I would like to ask your opinions on this. Now, is it right for councils to still allow their properties to be bought by tenants when there is a shortage of council houses and long waiting lists for properties to rent? This, I mean, um, uh, let me touch on it briefly. Um, Maggie Thatcher was the one who, you know, advocated that the, the, the council properties should be sold. You know, people could buy them after they'd lived in them so long they were allowed to buy the properties. Yeah. Now, we've seen the result of her allowing this to happen. There are too. many properties going round for people who cannot afford to buy a house. So that we've got the long waiting list and we've got a lot of homeless and other people squashed in, in, in properties that is just overrun and overcrowded. So that's what I'm saying. Don't you think it's time now? The council says, you know what? Enough is enough. We're no longer going to allow our properties to be sold. No, I and, don't believe that will happen. You know why? Because yeah. I was watching... Um, I saw my call. I do is watch TV. <laughs> your, 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 phone's gonna be, your microphone's going to be distorted. Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. yeah, I sound like all I do is watch TV. But another show I was watching, and <laughs> yeah. it was <laughs> on BBC, and it was about um, LA and how they were sh- sharing. You were living in pods and paying $500 a month to have a pod, and that was your living. There was That's like crazy. probably there's probably ten people in one room, but it's been separated into individual pods. Like so in Japan, can... they have these pods, yeah, hotel pods. Yeah, they're hotel pods, but in America, because there's no, there's it's too expensive to live, and this is the only way you're gonna not be on the streets. This is what they've sort of adapted, and I can see this becoming the norm. Where I, I was saying the other day. You, you, when you're growing up, you dream of having this big house and, you know what I mean, all these big mm-hmm. things. But why do you really need it? You get to a certain age and you think, yourself, why do I need such a big footprint? You don't need You only that. really need us. You only need to, to have the things what, yes, make you comfortable, but you're able to survive. You don't yeah. have to have a 10 bedroom house. A tiny you house can, is enough. You know what I mean? If that is enough. It really is enough. And I think the world needs to move away from all this materialism and oh I, I need to be bigger and better and it's only achievable for a certain amount of the population mm. and I think with these times and how it's changing it's only going to prove that the generation beyond us is not going to be as plentiful as and you know what I mean as we yeah. had it there's, yeah. not a, there's not enough room for all these people mm. and, and, that is and why. obviously the generation is living Longer, these yeah. old people are still occupying, or like you said, 
Medea, the, mm-hmm. the selling of the council houses, how people are occupying these three and four bedroom houses when they don't really need them. Yeah. And there's not a there's not a middle ground, there's no balance. So but this you... housing will ne- this housing situation will never ever be sorted because there's people who are homeless, they're not even in the mix and they haven't even got a house to barter with. Yeah. It can, you know it can, what I mean? So you, I think you've got to be grateful just to have a house in the first place. Yeah. Because one be day, I don't think social housing will actually exist because the way the government keeps coming out with these little schemes to get you tied in to owning your own house, because that is the dream. That is the dream. The, the, it's not the American dream. It's, it's the dream where everybody wants to be able to own a piece of England. Even though that, it's a piece of square bit. That's that was then. It's still now because that's what kids that's what your parents instill in you. Buy a house, work hard, buy a house. I yeah. think it should be an optional thing. It's it an is option. an optional. Yeah. But, I but think it still, should be optional, but in the sense of mm, what I mean by that, I'll elaborate by this. Okay then. You not only is it optional already, but I feel like you know how they're doing the school system, like you've got to qualify. But I feel like it should be like simple things like you pay your rent on time, your house is clean, you're not um, a neighbourhood um, nuisance person, all of that. I feel like you should literally be able to tick off a number of um, boxes and be able to qualify that way and say, right then, because you've done this for X amount of time, how, how many not years um, or whatever, now you can um, apply to buy this house if you want to. Don't I don't to, think so. that should happen though because you don't. what is happening is when they're selling off the property You know why I say that though? Let me the rent. You know why I say say that though, Medea? You yeah. and I know and probably even Travis Dean knows a lot of people wouldn't qualify because the way they keep their, their houses, council houses as well they're not of yeah. that standard even though it's That's common true. sense for people That's like us However, however when the people that are on level where they can qualify, when they're buying up these properties, remember the council social social housing are not making enough properties to replace the ones they're selling. So then they're getting bigger lists, waiting lists of people who they might have their job, but they just cannot afford to get on the property ladder. That is what council houses were originally made for but there's people. land now that's what i don't get don't isn't there like i don't know like green know, belt there's stuff. lots of brown belts and green yeah, belts but there's what? green people out there running the world they're not going to make the land cheap enough for people who say who's only earning three four hundred pound a week to buy they're not going to allow those people to buy a piece of land because they could probably build a better house than a rich person they're not like, going to Medea, look where we live. There's so much land, like so much land. Yeah. You know, they can do flats, houses, masonettes, anything you name it. Yeah, but you know? when you think about it, there's so much land, but what are they doing? They're either building new offices or building car parks. Have you not noticed? They, oh, just... only one that's big park. money, that's why. That's big money, that's why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but eventually something has to give because. If the government want to, want to stay rich, they've got to start catering for the people who are on lower income because they're the ones keeping them rich because a middle class and rich person ain't going to want to keep the person up above rich. The thing they're is, trying to I, stay rich themselves. I think that the ownership of houses is going to relinquish anyway at some point. But the problem is, is getting people to relinquish ownership to say, okay, we don't own houses anymore. We don't own anything. And we all yeah. just decide where we want to live. You know what I mean? We say, okay, I want to live there today. No, I don't yeah. want to live there there today you know just leave keys at the door and stuff that that's a good it's an, in, in theory good that's a good idea but i'm telling you man to get these people who don't even want anyone to borrow their lawnmower to do that <laughs> yeah it's going to be impossible it's impossible yeah, exactly. these, you need to raise a generation of people who are built or with that chain of thought you yeah know. As my, for, my, sorry sorry my thinking on this is stop selling the council houses and the social housing. Stop selling those. Leave those for the people who cannot afford to get on the property ladder and make better schemes and better things available for those who can afford to get on the property ladder so they don't feel they've got to buy a council house at 50% discount. Don't you Give them, no. you know, instead of, instead of saying government schemes of they'll put 50 grand in and you do the rest, you're still struggling. So the thing what is, they, though, should do, they should allocate a certain percentage of houses that people who can afford to get on the property ladder, and I mean people who are in a sort of income where 
They can just about buy a house for 100 grand, 200 grand. I'm talking about those people. Put it at a level where they can still live because these people who, who qualify the two hundred for a two hundred thousand pound house still have to struggle because they can't upkeep the properties. They sometimes can't even eat, so it's still a struggle. That's why they're trying to buy the council property for for fifty percent less. You know, put in a better scheme think, and allow think, people to buy. It's, it's um, it's it's an interesting topic actually because. You got to look at it from the side of the government because I guess it's the council is the guys who own it. So you got to think, okay, we, we're owning all these houses. We got to pay for all the boilers that need to be repaired. We need to pay all the maintenance that you know. So if we can pass that on to the costs onto the people who are in the house, then that's one less cost for us. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how they're looking Could they at it. Do that. It's a, it's a lower level. For instance, say you, obviously. Our they price though is it fifty percent? Is it fifty percent cheaper? I don't think fifty percent. I think property, if you've lived in your property, um. Five years plus, I think you get it at twenty something percent discount. Don't, don't um take it on off because I'm not hundred percent. I haven't looked at it in many years, but I know that if you've lived there oh, like half your life, you research, you you probably, I don't think you can pay. You know what, Medea? Yeah. Because you've just made that statement saying that you haven't looked at it for many years. I don't think you can buy houses from the council like that anymore. Yes, you can. And the reason why I know, I'll tell you now why. Own. Because I'm in this, I'm in this different. I'm in this housing swap group. And the first thing they put is I want to swap from my property because I want to go into a council property with the right to buy, because they can buy it. That's why they that's the only reason they want to swap into a council property because they can buy it. That is still going on. You know, and it, I think it's unfair because they, they want to get in the council to buy it and then that someone less and can't get a property because it's been bought. Mm. Right I, think know, there's there. I think there's a catch-22 there. I think there's a catch-22 there yeah. because if somebody, I think, this is what they should do. If you've been in the council house for a number of years and I think whatever you're bringing in should be being tested. And if, yeah. like you said, that you can afford a certain so, type of living that you yes. should not be allowed to keep that council house. Exactly, you should, no be, you should, you should be able you to, should have to. to. Them houses, what they're doing, them next schemes like the right to buy and the five percent help to buy schemes and all that, you yeah. should then be promoted to that with a little bonus to help you yeah. get onto that scheme. But yeah. if, they're, but they're not going to be willing to do that. The no. Government doesn't just want to give no money. They don't care about the people at the bottom. They're just That's keeping it. you no, alive. No, they don't care about the people at the bottom. To, you know what I mean? Because you don't really, you don't really uh, mitigate their life at all really because they know that the benefits have been well if that's if you are on i'm not talking i'm talking about people there are people who are working that just there can't lot, afford there to is get a on lot the of la- 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 on the ladder which is unfair they shouldn't have to be penalized because they're probably on a lower income than somebody who can afford the five hundred thousand pound house they should still because the, the fact that they're working and they're doing something they should be able to get on a scheme where they can buy a house you know, it, it, with better incentives rather than thinking, you know what, I want to own my own house, but I can only buy a council one, a 50% discount. You see where I'm coming from? They should still qualify because they are keeping the government rich. The lower income people are keeping the government rich because they're working for, what, £7 an hour, £8 an hour. Okay. They're keeping the government rich. Mm. You know, so that's that's so, what I, that's the way yeah. I'm seeing it. Uh, well, it's going to be difficult for anybody it to is, because it is. these days you've got to be on at least Forty thousand pound a year to be able to get a two hundred grand mortgage. Exactly. Anyway, so people on fifteen grand, you remember it's only times by four, maximum five. You're still not going to be able to get on, so you're going to have to go towards the help the council property and get it for always. thirty, forty grand. Yeah. Always. I think what you're going to. Is that to do in England? They give you four times your money. That's it. Yeah. Four, five. Yeah. Yeah. And if you if you got a partner, they'll do. I think it's three times with them and four times with you. Something like that, yeah. Or yeah. they'll pull it together and then times it by five. Yeah. yeah I mean, it depend- and it also depends on what kind of deposit you come with. Because these days they want between ten and 20,000. And in the old days, you only needed a couple of grand. Yeah. But, on, but if you go to the government schemes, you only have to find the 5% deposit, which is sort of helping the people if they want to take advantage of that. But sometimes yeah. it's also a trap. Because if you haven't got the money to staircase, you or you're gonna be trapped in paying rent and the yeah, mortgage. Yeah. So you so you actually are paying not winning. Uh, like you got a mortgage for a three hundred grand house when you really only 
own a certain percentage of the property anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Same yeah. goes. But let's hope that somebody might who works in the council might think, you know what, we've listened to this podcast. You know what? <laughs> let's, stop, let's stop selling the council houses and be fair. <laughs> you know what? Just like you said, it's not Maggie Thatcher, it's the government that's got to make that call. The government yeah. gives the councils the money. So yeah. it's from the, again, from the top, you know what I mean? If they you don't start with remember Maggie Thatcher stop. was the Prime Minister back then. That's what I mean. It's the top. top. At the top. That's where he yeah, started from. Started so from yeah. he would take Boris Johnson to be able to take the council and say, yeah. well, from now on, you won't be selling any more of our homes. That's because it. Because they are the council. The government yeah. is part of the council. Yeah, they so, are. You know what I mean? It's one of them yeah. ones. Yeah. So right. that closes that one. Um, and should we do the last one? This um this this Facebook post that was getting everyone a bit mad, I guess. Yeah, go on. Which one's this one? Because I've got a few I'm looking I at. I think I think you posted it. Which um, one? The one that a former Tory MP Roger oh, Taylor. Yes. Read it out, please, I'll tell you. Okay. People using food banks should really stop complaining and should hang their heads in great shame. How dare anybody complain about food banks when it's their own fault for breeding? If you can feed them, simply stop breeding as you as you are just being a burden, it is the mm-hmm. parents' responsibility, and oh. I have no bones about that. Many of these so-called impro- impoverished children, but then my phone's gone out, um, have smartphones, and we expect the taxpayer to dip into their pockets to feed them. Enough's enough, and it's time the Tory party stopped being and uh, so generous to those people complaining <laughs> about <laughs> food banks. Hold on, wait, 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 for something about people dipping into their, the taxpayers to dip their hands in their pockets to feed those yeah. who need food. You know, a couple of pence that we pay as taxpayers is ridiculous. Yeah. The the money, the tax money goes to prisons, so murderers, paedophiles, rapists, and all them. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. That's yeah. disgusting. It's a disgusting comment to make. Yeah, well, that's what they against it. Exactly. Is, you know what's funny? If you go to prison, you get you guarantee three square meals. Your PlayStation, your TV, even if it's locked, yeah. yeah. everything, and you can get on Facebook. <laughs> you've never, but if you're not on, you've never done a crime, and just because your parents are poor, then you must start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. See, that's the way everyone runs. See. But you got to remember, see. you got to remember, the prisons are run for the big businesses because they let yeah, the prisoners well. work for free and they produce yeah. all the goods. So it's yeah. actually the it's the big companies that are lobbying the prisoners and the the police state and you know the yeah. the laws. They're making the laws so people go to prison. But besides yeah. that, I think you know, like I, I've been working for many years, and I don't care. You know what? To me, I'm the kind of person is if it helps somebody, I'm happy with it. I can't believe that n- not everybody has this mindset. How could people don't have that mindset? Like, if I can help somebody, I will. Why do they always gonna look at people and be like, "Hey, they try to scrounge, they try to scrounge"? Yeah, because these people who are greedy, they've never suffered in a day in their life. So they're always, remember, they're born with a silver spoon, a gold spoon, mm-hmm. I would say. Wiping their bombs uh, with gold. Yeah, with, with they've paper. probably got gold toilet paper. <laughs> five pound yeah. notes. Yeah, five pound notes. They've got in their house. <laughs> the they will and never, what? ever get someone in, who, who, who is struggling. But what I don't get is, some of those very people he's talking about are Tory supporters. They've yeah, sure. probably lost their jobs through this lock, lockdown. They probably had to take a low-paid job because of lockdown or whatever, and they're going to the food bank. I hope he knows when he was talking about that, he was probably talking about some of the people who voted him in. Yep. Yep. You know, it's, yeah. it's really a horrible comment to make. You know, I understand how you can think people, who, human beings, should be hanging their head in shame. The only part I do agree, and not with him, but I agree in principle, is... Because there are some people out there who who would go to a food bank and they do have the latest phones and the latest this and that, and they have no means of, of knowing how to really pay for them, but they put themselves in debt to get it, and that's why yeah. they don't put the food bank. Those people, yes, should hang their heads in shame because yeah. they should put their basic needs first, not yeah. the latest phone, the latest trainers, the latest TV. They should be putting the, the fact that, you know what, I can't really afford these things, these guys, yeah. so... Let's just have an, an old Nokia for 50 quid 
you know, from think... boxing shops, them shops where you can sell your goods in and get them second hand. <laughs> let's just get them, but make sure our <laughs> food is if food is in the house for the kids, and let's make sure there's ele- electric and gas and water sorted. That's how they should be thinking. I don't you know get what? Off <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. You know the thing is, I think um, the way this is written, I guess he's probably pointing more towards the people who have kids. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, obviously, yeah. and going and then and then they go to the food banks and then complain about the food banks. Now that's, it, 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 yeah. Well, when 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 you think of it like that, you have no so right. To, at night. Yeah, you're gonna be. Right. That, yeah. You know what? Saying that actually, that's something I've realised recently. And that's why you think, have, people haven't got the same mindset as you, Stelio. Yeah, they yeah. yeah, probably seen so much ungratefulness. I think in, in the set, in the sense, you think I'm sick of this. I'm not even gonna help no more. You know what? Because you actually, after a while, when people are given something over and over again for free, it becomes entitled. Mm. Yes, they and do. They do become entitled in and that. And then that's you stop saying thank you. Yeah. yeah. And you stop being grateful. And Instead and of getting you, two tins, you're moaning because yeah. you want four tins. Yeah. yeah. You're like, this is not enough. And you're like, but you, you're lucky you're getting these two tins. Yeah. And there you show your ungratefulness. Yeah. I bet that there's is lots you. of people who go to them food banks and are so ungrateful. And I bet that overshadows the people who are actually really desperate and are grateful. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what it makes people make these comments. And guess comments what? About guess not caring. What? Guess what? Well, um, um, well, you're one of them. Travesty. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. Guess what, travesty? Those people, I can, I can bet that those people who go there are that are ungrateful are the ones who were originally in, in fantastic jobs. No, I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, so. Yeah, the low low life. I think no, like low lives. No, I no. Think no. Low <laughs> I think that low lives are... are I think so uh, low lives. You know, you know, to be fair, look in England, I see... People are poor, you know. Obviously, they drink, they drink and smoke their money away. First of all, yeah, they do, and that's yeah. that's true. That's a true statement. Be careful how you're saying that because you, you're generalizing there. You okay, a lot. Of, well, but, but there's a lot. Look, 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 look. Let's talk about these people. Who are re- let's talk about the people you see the, the trailer trash. Let's talk about the trailer yeah. trash, regardless if they're white or black. Trailer trash. People who are they drink and smoke their money away. They yeah. used to have no idea about. They have no oh. money literacy or financial literacy. They oh, just yeah. like, but they get, they get. Let's be fair. They get. No, it's not that much money, but it's it's enough money to survive. You know, people are surviving on on gyro, if you call it, and making a living, making yeah. living, get, get enough money to survive. Even when you calculate it, they get more money than some people who are actually working for it. Yeah, yeah, and they got a cheek to complain. You know, that's true. That's so, true. So, to be fair, I think um, yeah, I, I agree with some points that people should be a bit more grateful <laughs> about. Like, yeah, not so much yeah. I think I think I don't know. I think like in America, they give you like these food stamps. And in England, they give you like a little bit of money to to make it stretch to get you over. And yeah. if you're smart, you can get along. Cause I've I've lived on pennies, really. And yeah, I've, I've been able to stretch that. You can yeah. stretch it. You know, you don't need all that much stuff, but you shouldn't be getting that money. Then thinking, yeah, well, I should have a flat screen TV in my living room, or I should have a I, I should have a phone, a, a high tech yeah. iPhone or whatever. I shouldn't have all the latest stuff. If you're getting money that's helping you just to get to the next stop, you should be using that money just to get you to the next stop, and not trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. not trying to, to get a car. You know, you get a car yeah. and that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> pay you insurance. <laughs> pay you insurance. Get some break. Yeah. You know what I mean? you know, risking it all, you know. Risking it all because you want to look good. We ain't got the money to look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, don't do that. Look, listen, the moral of the story is don't do that. Don't do that if you're only getting a couple of quid. Eat, feed the people around you. And try yeah. and live your life until you get to the next stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wonderful right. thing to, to finish on. <laughs> oh, God. And just before anyone complains about phone chain, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know what we do. Go around the table. Start with Travis tonight. Travis, what you got to say, man? Last words. Um, work hard, live hard, play hard. And hopefully you succeed in this one wicked life we all get to live yeah <laughs> within oh, on this note on a, such a funny night I'd like to say hashtag Nick in a living <laughs> <laughs> no you gotta say you gotta say your favourite line Allah Allah <laughs> oh, no 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 this year I don't know it's last year this year is Gulegle 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 which means 
Good night. Yeah. Good night. Uh, I mean, sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I would say, if you're listening to this, subscribe, hit a like. Likes cost absolutely nothing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Black Up Lips. This is a big year for us. We're gonna go and move up and up and up, and hopefully, yeah, we'll be you'll be seeing and hearing a lot more from us, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. night, and good I'll night. see you next good week. Night. Oh, I hear from you next week. Bye, bye, bye. We will have each other.